Hey guys and welcome back to another Vroid tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can actually add accessories to your Vroid using Unity. It's actually surprisingly simple to do and I'm really excited to share this with you because I know a lot of people have been asking how do you add accessories like hats and glasses to a Vroid? You'll want to go ahead and download UniVRM if you have not already. UniVRM is what we're going to use to import our VRM model into Unity. After you've downloaded it, you can then click and drag it into your assets folder and import. Now on your toolbar here up at the top, you'll see VRM, which you can actually click on that and hit import to get your model into Unity. Now that my model is imported, I'm going to click and drag her into the hierarchy. Now I have the file that I downloaded for my hat that I'm going to be using right here. You can also use a site like Booth to download free or paid assets that you can also use. However, the asset that I am using for this video is going to be a Chroma hat, which I downloaded off the Chroma website. So once you drag it into your folder, you can then drag it back up to your hierarchy. Now that you can see that the hat is added into the scene, we can go ahead and adjust it to make sure it fits on her head. So with the move tool up here in the upper left, I can go ahead and move the hat around with these arrows. With the rotation tool, we can also grab this ball and move it rotationally just a tad to make sure it fits on the head more correctly. Then on scale, we can scale this hat up to make it fit her head a little better. Now I'm going to click on the hat and also extract the materials for it. I'm going to create a new folder and call it hat materials. Now, if I go into the materials folder, you'll see that I have the material right here, but it doesn't have any texture on it. So what I'm going to do is open my folder. I'm going to drag in the texture for it. Then I'm going to come up to here to the albedo, grab the texture and put it in. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a shader to this as well. So. Because I'm using a VRM model and I want to keep the shaders um, consistent, I'm going to go ahead and click on this, go to VRM, and then choose one of these textures. I'm going to do M-Tune. Now right now you can see there's kind of a weird pink color right here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this and drag it all the way to white. And also bring this all the way to white. Finally, I'm going to make sure that my texture has alpha is transparency turned on by clicking this and then hitting apply. Perfect, and now I have the hat added onto my avatar. Now the key thing to remember is that we actually have to attach the hat to the head. And this goes for any body part accessory. So if you were to add something like a bracelet or a sword, you would want to add it to the hand or the wrist. So to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and open up the avatar. I'm going to open to root, hips, spine, chest, upper chest, neck, and head. Now we're gonna make sure that we're actually connecting the hat to the head. So I'm gonna drag the file right here all the way up to head. Now if you see, if I grab my avatar here and I have it selected and I have the move tool, I can move back and forth and the hat moves with it instead of separately because they are now attached. Now I'm gonna make sure that my avatar is selected right here. And then I'm gonna come up to VRM and I'm going to export uni VRM here make sure that all my information is filled out correctly and export. Now, if you're taking this model into a VRM program like Luppet or VC Face, then you'll want to follow what I just did by exporting. But if you're going to move this avatar into VR chat, then you'll want to keep it here and then move along with the same process that I follow in this video. All right, and that's how you attach the hat. So as you see, I'm here in Luppet. I'm moving my head around and it's following me just fine. It looks super good, super clean. I think it's adorable. It's very big and puffy, which is really cute. But yeah, it's the exact same process if you added something onto the other parts of the body. Um, if you wanted to add glasses or something like that, you can just adjust it all in Unity really, really simply. So it's really easy and nice and it doesn't take that much effort once you know what you're doing. Anyways, that's so much for this video. So make sure you drop it a like if it was helpful to you and subscribe to the FIA channel for more VTubing tutorials. I also stream on Twitch and I might be streaming after this video goes live. So make sure you come check out my channel as well.
You can also support my Patreon page to help me make more videos just like this. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Special thanks to this one's Patreon members and virtual VIPs, Baxorn, Dutech, Klukule, Scormaller,